again, Herd. We are the Herdsman. I am Mark. I'm Grant. And we're back with another food review. It's been a while. Uh, we're back. Uh, we're just, kind of rusty. On we're this a, little, a little rusty. We haven't done this in a while. Yeah. Um, I want to so. say, what, month? Year? It, no. Not sure. <laughs> oh, anyway, let's it's, get back. <laughs> <laughs> it's been it's been about a month, I would say. So anyway, uh, today we're trying something from a place that we really like, um, Burger King, and we're doing the Angry Whopper. Angry Whopper. The Angry Whopper is one that is uh, it's been around a couple of different times. It's back now for a limited time. I guess they're trying to uh, tease us a little bit, trying to make it the McRib of their place. Isn't yeah, it? So, sort of a limited edition thing. See how it goes. Um, Hopefully, it'll be better. I, let's give it a try, and uh, this has got on it. I'm gonna as he's taking a bite, and he's gonna talk when I'm biting. Um, so let's take a look at this. Uh, it has uh, the regular uh, ground beef patty. It's got uh, tomato. You can see the mayonnaise. Uh, it's got jalapeno slices. Uh, it's got some peppers on there. It's got onions on there. Uh, the fried onions, uh, and then a little sauce right here on the bottom. You can see that sauce. It's a barbecue sauce. A barbecuey type sauce. Mm -hmm. um, you know that I have always said that Burger King puts a little bit too much mayonnaise and things like that. So anyway, I'm going to take a bite. What too much mayonnaise. I can agree with that. Oh, on the the angry part of it. Wow, wow. It's hot. Yeah. I mean, it really, really burns. Um, bacon. Yeah, the bacon is good. I am. I've not had this in such a long time. I I forgot how just juicy mm -hmm. the burgers are at Burger King. Um, as far as the burger itself, it's kind of uh, it's kind of garden variety. I mean, for Burger King and. Keep in mind, this is coming from a fan, but mm -hmm. there's nothing that makes it stand out from any of the rest of Burger King stuff, other than the heat and, well, I'm not that big of a fan of heat. Okay. <clears throat> and But having said that, if, if you put a sandwich in front of me, this sandwich in front of me, and you have me take a bite, number one, I'm going to know that that was a Whopper of some kind. Yeah. Because it has the Whopper taste. It has that that d distinctive charbroil, uh, tomato, mayo, pickle, those kind of things. So I do like that, that we know what it is. Mm -hmm. um, you're right, though. The only thing that I think distinguishes this as a, a different burger is the heat. And I do like heat, uh, so I, I, I tend to like this burger... Uh, truth be told, this is my third one this <laughs> this week. Uh, so second one for me. I <laughs> I am a fan of this burger. Um, could they do it better? I, I don't know because this is exactly I think what they're going for. They're going for a whopper with some heat to it. Um, you know, you got onions, the fried onions. You've got the jalapenos. Um, I don't know that the bacon adds a whole lot on this. I don't know nah. that that has anything to do with angry. So, you know, I think the bacon, you could lose the bacon. But overall, I think it's a pretty strong sandwich. It's it's a pretty strong sandwich. It just doesn't stand out to me. Okay. All right, let's give it some cows. Um, I'm going to give it, with that somewhat lackluster review, about two and a half. Really? Yeah. Three since I happen to like charbroil burgers, but two for just I, it's a concept. I am going a definite three cows on this. No, no question about it. Um, if it, here's one thing that I would say: if Burger King, if you could add another burger to it, put another layer of meat on there, um, and lose the bacon, I think you'd be better. I think that's a better sandwich right there. Honestly, I think that. They should lose those jalapenos. But that's what makes it angry. Oh, no, not lose the spiciness, but lose those specific jalapenos. They're not very... They don't have a lot of zest to them. They were hot to me. They were hot, but they weren't, like, complicated. I've had more complicated... So they weren't hot. They weren't flavorful. Yeah. They were just... It was just heat for the sake of heat. Yeah. Okay. That was nothing added there. I mean... Okay. Say what you will about, like, uh... Like those... 
peppers that we had that burned out our mouths. There right. was a Carolina unique, Reapers. Uh, a uniqueness to their taste That's true. as well as the heat. That is true. The, these do seem like heat for the sake of heat. Yeah, the Carolina Reapers, as bad as those hurt, as much pain as we were in. If you haven't seen that video, watch that, that video of ours. Our misery. You should enjoy our misery. We'll put it. I'll put it in the, the uh, description down below. But um, they had a flavor. Yeah. I mean, there was a flavor to it. It was it was hot, but there was a good flavor to it. I, so I totally agree with you on that. I agree. Excellent point. All yeah. right. So that is all from us today. Uh, Angry Whopper. Give it a try. I think you'll be. Uh, ple I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. Um, thank you for sharing and for uh, uh, you know subscribing and all those things. We keep growing in subscribers. Uh, the longer we're away, it seems like more people subscribe. So hit the subscribe button. Uh, make sure that you hit the notifications so you can no know more. when our videos come out. And then we'll be back in a year when we have a million subscribers. <laughs> well, we'll be back in less than a month this time. We commit to that right yeah. now. Okay, so we're going to do it this, this, call it this week. This week. Yeah, this week. We're going to do another video this week just for you guys. We love you guys. Hope you're having a great week. We will see you by the end of uh, Friday night. All, All right. right. And as always, never forget, don't be afraid to join, to join the, the herd. herd. Yeah, the herd. herd.